Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit and to hang out with you. Uh, first and foremost, if you're currently a subscriber, you can go to the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe Moat in the chat. We are going to hang out here in the intro portion of the stream for a little bit, see if a few more folks want to join us. Uh, you can let me know in the chat how I sound. Hi, Lashbrook. Lashbrook, how does it sound? Um, it, there might be an echo. Uh, I can't really do anything about that in this room, but I know that uh, on Thursday I was very quiet and I had to boost in OBS. I have now since boosted outside of OBS. Um, Folks that uh, use Windows 10 know that there is... Uh, oh, sounds good. Oh, great. Um, folks that use Windows 10 know that there are like three or four different sound things. And I finally found the microphone one that let me boost the microphone. Because I, I use the headset and it plugs in. Um, apparently, it's not that strong of, a, of an in there. Um, because normally when I do uh, road streams, I don't bring my headset. Um, when I use the laptop, I just use the built-in audio... Uh, on the built-in webcam, which I'm using there. Uh, but because I have this and it's going to travel with me, I was like, well, I'll just use that. Um, uh, I'm excited for tonight. We got a new kit to, to start. We're doing the Easy 8. Uh, if you don't know the Easy 8, it is uh, from the mainline store lines here. Basically, there's the seven, uh, the RX-78, the classic, the Gundam. Uh, well, they made the 7.9 based on parts from the 7.8. Uh, run and then they made the 79G and then this is a further modification of the 79G called the EZ8. It is just more and more modifications of the originals. So it doesn't have like the color scheme of your classic uh, Gundam uh, at all. I mean the head feels right. When you look at the head you go I get this but it's almost like taking a Gundam and trying to make just like a traditional mobile suit. It doesn't stand out as much, but it's got a classic design, a great look. This kit is from the year 2000, so it has a whole lot of uh, uh, plastic connector pieces. It also has only a couple, but a few screws. That's right. We were still in the era of a couple screws. There are uh, two screws with nuts and two screws without, which is great because it's easy to tell what you want uh, apart. So the screws are going to go in the arm with the nut. The nuts and bolts are going to go in the arm. And the uh, screws without will go in the leg, I believe. I don't remember actually if the legs have screws in them or, uh, or if the legs... Uh, or if it's part of the waist. I actually can't remember. Uh, this kit is always odd because you, you build one arm completely, then you build the other arm completely, even though they have similar parts inside of it. Then you build the legs, uh, and then you put together uh, you know one leg, then you put together the other leg, uh, and then the head, uh, and then the waist... And then the chest. The chest is like, and then the backpack. The chest is one of like the last things you put together. It's very weird. Uh, huh. I must have built a different HG Easy 8 because I don't remember having screws. Well, this is the uh, the Master Grade from 2000. This is the Master Grade uh, um, it, that, that was released in the year 2000. See there. Uh, I, I, this is this webcam is not good. So yeah. So this is the Master Grade Easy 8. Uh, Look at I love I love the back of the instructions because it's just the back of the kit, but the front is all very stylish. Yes, it is a master grade, uh, not the high grade. Um, yes, the RX seven nine G EZ eight, or AKA the Gundam EZ eight. Um, Y'all, I don't know if you've seen the the two thousand the the this era, um, but oh. It's beautiful. Like I'll, I'll put it in the overhead because this is there, this webcam. It gives, it gives a lot of blue that isn't really in here, which is weird. But this is a really fun kit. Yeah, and then we build the, the backpack, uh, and then we put together the weapons, and then we put it all together after. So instead of like building the head and the chest, and then the arms, and then the legs and the waist, we're building all the arms and all the legs. We're like doing extremities first, and the hands. The hands are not rubber. They are plasticized. Um, uh, you can see that there. Uh, I will admit fully and honestly, I am stalling a little bit before we get to building because uh, we don't have a lot of folks here tonight. And I'm starting to wonder, uh, you know, not, not necessarily fresh. I'm, I don't want to call it a fresh start because uh, that's not that's not what this is. But I might 
be you taking advantage of the change of scenery and the change of pace in my life to rethink the nights I build. I still really like Monday, and Thursday was my first night, but I'm wondering if Saturday makes sense anymore. Uh, I do like breaking the days up, and but then I do the Wednesday bonus stream. So, I don't know. Uh, 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 Steam Droid says I was in Hobby Lobby today uh, and picked up the Zaku 2 Red Comet version. Super fun. That definitely will be fun. Um, I mean, look, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever built a, a Zaku I didn't like. Uh, maybe there was a high grade here or there that wasn't my favorite, but I really do think that I just genuinely love Zaku's, Zaku 2s. Um, uh, they're just great kits. Uh, I'm gonna retweet. Let's build. Uh, but yeah, I've been thinking about it. Uh, I do, like I said, I do like Monday nights and I do like Thursday nights, but do I like Saturdays? And then it's like, well, then I do need to break it up. Do I need to move Monday to Tuesday and do Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and then find a, another day to, to, to do games i'm like maybe i don't know i have look this is all me thinking about stuff um uh i have come to no conclusions let's go to the overhead you can see the easy eight there you can see we got a lot of these little things here i'm going to try to build this area part pardon me apologize um but I, I i've been thinking about that um because some saturdays we get a lot of people and we do great with it uh, some Saturdays we don't. So I've been wondering, like, is it Saturday nights? Um, should I maybe... I, I also really like doing the same times every week. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So even if you're not sure what day I'm streaming at, you know that uh, when, it come, when, it's the, when it's 9 p.m. Eastern, you know, like, if I'm streaming that day, I'm streaming at that time. I like having that consistency. And I don't know if I want to do, like, Mondays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday at 5 p.m. Like, I don't know. But I do know that um, another night might bring in more people, uh, which would be good. I like streaming for, you know, people and people having fun. Um, so, I don't know. But I have thought about doing Sunday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night, and then finding another night like f Friday now and again or uh, for my gaming streams. That's what I've been thinking about. Of course, this all changes once I move uh, to South Carolina. Um, all of this is on contingent of me having uh, the time to be able to do this, which I will, but also I am uh, actively looking for part-time or full-time work while I'm down there uh, in order to have money to move back to New York. I got to do, I got to work, right? I'm going to try, I'm going to do my best. So maybe I get a night job. Maybe I get a morning job and I can't really stream till 11 p.m. Eastern time because uh, I got to get up at five. Uh, although I'm sure I could make that work. Like, I don't know. I have, uh, there, there are a lot of question marks when it comes to this stuff. But I do know that Saturdays don't always seem busy. And then it also comes to the question, like, should I be streaming later in the evening? Because am I doing a disservice to West Coast viewers by starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, which is 6 p.m. for other for, for some folks? Uh, is 6 p.m. just too early for folks that are coming back from work? You know, like, are there people that come in for the second hour of my stream that would have loved to have seen that? Uh, I did, you know, at one point, uh, was I, I was doing a late night stream on Mondays for a very brief period um, because the way my schedule worked, I didn't have enough nights where I could start at 9 p.m. And so I wonder, like, should I be doing, like, a very late stream on a night? Uh, should Saturdays be really late? Not 9 p.m. Should Saturdays be, like, you know, midnight Eastern time. I don't know. I don't know yet. 
Um, I'm kind of talking out loud about this stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll probably, you know, send out some surveys to subscribers. I'll probably like, you know, ask my Patreon, that kind of stuff. But I'm, I've been actively thinking about it because I love streaming. I love doing this. I love model kit building. This is the thing that I uh, really enjoy doing. I really like um, uh, this. It's, it's been very beneficial for, for my mental health to be able to uh, have things to look forward to and to work on projects and to complete tasks, which has been really nice. Um, but, you know, uh, oh, Santini, uh, well, I just got an emote because Santini just subscribed, uh, uh, that is 11 months, thank you, Santini, let's throw the bear cave, the Lego, the scythe emote in the chat if you would like, uh, and say thank you to Santini for renewing their subscription, I'm gonna hit the old applause there, oops, I missed some emotes, so I'm gonna get some emotes in there, appreciate that, oh, what we got going on here, uh, Man, I need Angie's list to stop emailing me. I turned off all subscription notifications for Angie's list, and they won't stop emailing me. Uh, it's annoying because I'm not using Angie's list. I signed up uh, to get a quote because uh, I'll tell this story in a minute, but I just want to finish up that like, um, yeah, I, I've been thinking about uh, stream times and what is reasonable and what isn't and what I want to do and what I, I don't want to do. And, you know, I haven't come to any uh, concrete conclusions right now, but I am actively thinking about what nights I stream at. Like, I like Mondays, but is Tuesday better? I love Thursdays, but is, you know, like Wednesday. The other thing is that Wednesday has been a kind of fun night to do game streams on so do i want to keep that but then i do i want to go from thursday to sunday without a stream uh, maybe i don't know i don't know um yeah so i'm so i've been doing some debating on that and doing some thinking on that and i'll uh i haven't made any decisions yet but i'll let you know i would notice if that if things start to change um, let's see, do, 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 uh, these are all, these are all lettered and the lettering is a little hard for me to read here, uh, under in this lighting. So I'm just looking R S T U. Is this one great? Um, okay. So I'm going to tell the story here. We're going to start the story up. Um, I had, uh, I uh, straight up had a mild panic attack yesterday, um, and I'm okay because things make sense, and I figured out what was going on, but uh, I did have a very stressful part of my day yesterday into today. So, here's what happened. Uh, yesterday, uh, I noticed that I got an email from PayPal returning an amount of money that was my deposit for the movers that I hired three weeks ago. Exact amount. And I was like, that's not good. And then I got a text message from the, the movers because I had put them in my phone because that's, you know, you gotta, gotta, gotta know that you gotta recognize that number. Being like, we are, uh, we are overcommitted for July 1st so we are issuing you this refund um, uh, instead of rescheduling because we are busy for the next three days after that. So we will not be able to reschedule. If you would like to reschedule for later in the month, please let us know, um, which is a nightmare. Uh, if, if folks that are watching, hi, Mr. Bob. If you don't know, uh, I'm moving out of my uh, apartment uh, that I've been in here for a number of years. I'm moving out on the 1st, which is Wednesday. So to be told that to have that canceled put me in a panic attack. So I uh, focused up as much as I could. I sent out a bunch of stuff. I contacted a bunch of people. I tried to get quotes. Uh, of course, this was in the afternoon on f they told me in the afternoon on a Friday. They couldn't even do it in the morning. I had to find out in the afternoon. So I'm like, going through stuff trying to figure out okay who can I who can I 
who do I know? Do I know people? Do I know any, a man with a van? Do I know anybody, you know, independent? Okay, let me go to services. Let me reach out on Facebook because Facebook is still good for recommendations. Uh, and, you know, I get some quotes. And of course, you know, I'm asking people to work on Wednesday. And I'm kind of freaking out about it because I don't know if I'm going to get this done. Uh, if people are available uh, and you know like somebody emails you back and they give me a quote and of course it's way higher than previous quotes which is like isn't a deal breaker but I need to know for you know like to, for my budget like and one person's like well I, you have to take a bunch of photos of stuff because your description doesn't make much sense which it definitely did uh, it definitely made sense. I, don't, I didn't understand that, but I was like, sure, here's some photos. And they're like, okay, well, it's going to be this, this, and this. And it's like one person quoted me. Now, I'm not going to go into too much details. I just let you know, I'm moving the equivalent of a decent sized bedroom's worth of stuff. I'm moving my stuff into storage. One uh like ta like area over it's not far it is a 10 minute drive from my apartment to my storage facility i part of the reason i picked this storage facility is because it's so close to here and to the airbnb that i'm going to be staying at so i can walk to my airbnb from my apartment and i can it's like a 30 minute walk from uh, where I'm going, but like, I'm hoping they'll give me a ride back or I'll just get in a car. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Is the reason for this. A quote I got last night at like 6 p.m. was for $800. And they were like, it's gonna, okay, so we're three people and it'll be, uh, uh, we, you got us for two hours and it's $800. And I was like, no, no thanks. That's not in my budget. And they were like, oh, okay. Well, you know, it's an estimate. And I was like, you yeah, know, I don't want an estimate. I just like, I'm not moving that much stuff. Like I'm moving stuff. Like I have a dresser and I have uh, a uh, futon on a day bed and I have a computer desk and I have this and I have some boxes and a trunk. And I have a shelving unit that I've already disassembled myself. Uh, and I also, the frame for my futon, I don't know if I can disassemble it. I'm going to be doing that research. And if I can, I will do that on Wednesday uh, to make things easier uh, for the move. And I'm doing whatever I can to make this move as easy as possible. And I know that the fact that I'm trying to confirm something then yesterday, now today, uh for Wednesday is like an issue. Like I get that I am asking for a lot by saying like, hey, I want th this, this, and this. Like I get that I'm asking for a lot, like fast. But I'll tell you this, the job is not worth $800. It is certainly not. So uh, luckily today I got a uh, I've never used a mover, but that seems like a hell of a lot. Lastbrook, it was it was this thing where they were like, well, this and insurance. And uh, so this company was going to charge me, uh, they have a, a dollar a stair fee. And they were like, well, we're going to estimate a flight of stairs, but we'll do the actual count when we get there. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do any of this. Uh, no, thank you. And they're like, oh, you sure? I'm like, yes. And it's fine. Uh, I did end up with somebody. Um, and it is, I, I won't say what it is, but, but it was, uh, far more reasonable priced uh, and something that I can afford uh, that is in my budget. Uh, it's two people uh, with a truck and they're coming um, on uh, on Wednesday and I will do whatever I can to make things easier. Uh, the, the, only, the issue for me, not really an issue, is they're coming at like two in the afternoon, which is a little later in the day than I would like. They're coming from another job, which means they'll actually get there at three probably because nothing is ever fast or easy. Even if I'm trying to make it fast and easy, I bet it won't be fast and easy. So I am anticipating them being late. So I'm like trying to figure out how to make that work for me. Um, 
I think it'll be okay. But I, you know, you never know. Uh, all right, we need A here. Um, so I do have someone confirmed. I put the deposit in. That's good. Uh, I am uh, ready for that. And actually, because they're coming in the afternoon, what I can do is on Wednesday is I can go to my storage unit and get like fill out the paperwork and put the deposit or put the money down and then get like access to where I'm going to be moving into. So that way I don't have to waste time with the movers. I could just go and check it out and then come back and then they'll uh, be there. Uh, so I can do that. So that way I'm not paying them to wait for me to like fill out some paperwork. I've done most of the paperwork in my storage unit, but I might as well go and be like, oh, hey, actually, I'm going to come back later because whatever. It's not like I have to move in my stuff all at once. It's my storage unit. I can move stuff in as I want and kind of make sure that, it, you know, everything's ready for me. So that's that's good. Um, I was actually got things set up with the person who gave me a quote that I then accepted and figured out what I needed to do. Um, while I was on uh, a Zoom call, I was actually on a Zoom call today with my uh, with my parents and my uh, cousins. My cousin set up the Zoom call, which is very nice of him because he uses Zoom for his job, uh, so he has premium. Uh, my cousin, his wife and kids, and then my other cousin came in, and then my aunt and uncle, their parents, and we had like a family birthday thing. Uh, if you didn't know, folks, my birthday was on Tuesday. Um, and so I, uh, but we did a Saturday like afternoon uh, kind of get together, and that was really nice. It was just nice to have, uh, you know, some family time. And we we're talking about like, oh, we should probably not like, we should do this before we like the next cousin's birthday. Like we should schedule time to do this, which I agree. It was nice. I recommend it, especially because like a lot of times like I'm not really talking to, I'm like. Like today, I talked to my family on Zoom and then I uh, talked, you know, like said like debit to a cashier at, at the grocery store. And that's the only people I've talked to up until now while I'm talking out loud with all y'all um, talking at you, really. So I haven't really done a lot of like conversations lately. And it's uh, it's nice to be able to do that. Um uh, like, yeah, having, like, a real chat with somebody was, was good. Uh, so the plans right now, um, got streaming, you know, tonight, which is good. Uh, tomorrow I do, like, the last bit of my laundry stuff and, like, figure out what's going up with me on the plane and what's going into storage and kind of get that all taken care of. Also, take keeping in mind that some of the stuff that I'll be putting in my suitcases, I'll be wearing the next couple days. Uh, just taking that into consideration. Um, getting that stuff set up finally, you know, doing, like I said, the last bits of laundry and a lot of packing. Uh, getting that stuff together. That's tomorrow and general whatever and cleaning and all that. Monday, I'm going to be streaming. Uh, I have like some work to do on a project for somebody that I that I've been working on in my off time, so I'll be doing that project, uh, which will be good to to kind of finish that up. Uh, Tuesday night is going to be my bonus stream night um, because I'm moving on Wednesday, so uh, Tuesday will be the last bonus stream in this apartment. It'll be the last actual stream in this apartment. Um, and I'm going to be playing Hearthstone because that's something I can do on my TV monitor, which is right over here. Uh, it won't look as good as it has looked on my desktop computer, but whatever. It's also Hearthstone, and I don't care. Um, but uh, I, I was like, this is an e that's an easy game for me to be able to stream, so I am going to stream it uh, um, on uh, on Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's the last day of the month, so we'll just try to rank up some in wild. I got a couple wild decks that are fun, and we'll just uh, uh, try that and uh, see if we can, you know, have some fun in uh, in Hearthstone. Uh, I think that'll that'll be a fun time. Um, I should also say, um, I have one more box to give away of Lego sets, and I'm going to be doing that on Monday. 
Monday will be the very last of uh, the subscriber giveaway. Uh, you do not have to be in present to win. You just have to be a subscriber. Um, you do not have to be... Uh, uh, and it, you've not won previously. So any subscriber who's not won previously will be up and eligible to uh, uh, to win. Um, and I think that's going to be fun. Um, and uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to say about that. Not really. Um, it's a, So it's a bunch of Lego sets. I'll actually say what they were. These were supposed to go out last month, but the person who won it said give it to somebody else, but they took a long time to do it. So I'm just waited a whole month here. So technically it was last month, but I'm doing it now. Uh, subscribe from, sorry, I'm also unsubscri trying to unsubscribe again from Angie's list. I have nothing. I don't want any of these things. Don't send me anything. Angie's list. Um, okay, so the Lego sets that somebody's going to win. They are the Manta Ray Bomber, the Golden Dragon. These are both, uh, those are Ninjago sets. Uh, the Samurai Mech, which is also a Ninjago set. And Ray's Speeder, which is a Star Wars set. These are all small Lego sets. I have disassembled all of them. They are all disassembled and ready for you to build if you are so inclined and interested in doing that work. Um, uh, so that way, you you know, whoever wins can, can build some cool Lego. Oh, this is where the other screw comes in. Okay, so uh, the one with the uh, bolt uh, or the nut, I should say, uh, goes... These are all arm screws here. Uh, I quit years ago, but I still subscribe to WWE's emails. All attempts to unsub have failed. Oh, Lashbrook. Yeah, I mean, eventually I'm just going to put that Angie's list goes to, to spam. Like, I'm just going to have to set that. Uh, I th I'll give it a little time because I did cancel it pretty recently, so they might just be just still sending me stuff. But I'm like, I don't... I joined it because I wanted uh, fast quotes, and I did... One, didn't get fast quotes... And two, uh, I got somebody. You know, I got my, my mover. Um, also, at this point, uh, you know, if they canceled on Monday or Tuesday, if they cancel on by Monday, my mo current movers, which I'm not expecting to, uh, knock on wall, if they did cancel, at this point, I will just abandon my big pieces of furniture and then just call an uber and stuff it full of boxes and duffel bags and just be annoyed that i got a enough space to hold like the storage unit i have has enough space for this desk that i want to use and my you know my tv and my dresser the dresser that doesn't get disassembled so i'm like it's it fits all my stuff i don't want to like throw good stuff away uh but I also, like, I'm not going to be able to get movers, like, the day before, probably. It's one thing if you're moving on, like, you know, a random day. But if you're moving the first of the month, the first and the 15th, those are just harder days to get, you know, no, without without proper notice. All right, so we're putting a screw in here. Uh, this is the shoulder piece here. Um, so this is this was very common in the late 90s, early 2000s model kits. Uh, they were working on stability. Um, if you built anything, any of the master grades from Gundam X uh, and G Gundam, you're gonna find screws in those. I don't believe there are, there are not any in the wing kits, um, but this was a this was definitely an attempt to add stability because that was a complaint that they got a lot of at the time, uh, was that the the arm stability was poor in, in their kits. So this just adds you know, some rigidity to uh, what we're doing. Um, I will say that the, the very, the, I don't think anybody who's watching, maybe Mr. Bob remembers, I don't, I don't even know, if Mr. Bob, if you were hanging out at the time, but um, my very first build stream, I showed, uh, you know, I, I 
set up that, hey, I'm going to be doing model kit building. It was like a Thursday afternoon. Uh, I was at the Upper Red Citizens Brigade Training Center. I had rented a room, uh, set up my laptop, set up all my gear, go live. Oh, a piece just fell. Let's see if I can get it. I'm going to move off camera for a second. So I, um, I go and... Uh, Get, uh, get set up, get ready to stream. I do all the stuff I want to do. Open up the kit. I got this kit. Uh, I'm I'm going to build the Double X from Gundam X. It's a kit that I, you know, grew up... Uh, no, sorry. What am I saying? It's the Shining Gundam. I'm going to build the Shining Gundam from G Gundam. That's a kit that I had, like, built the high grade of, but I never built the master grade. And I was like, oh, this is like... You know, this was one of the first Gundam shows that I really liked, and I'm like, so excited to, to build this. And the one of the first steps involved uh, screws, and I didn't have a screwdriver because I didn't remember that being a thing that existed. So I ended up doing other steps. I, like, skipped ahead and did a section later that didn't involve the screws, and then had a screwdriver for the next stream because I wasn't in, even in my apartment. I was on location, and it was so, like... Oh, well, I'm figuring this stuff out, folks. Uh, it took me a while to, like, get the right vibes of, uh, of model kit building. I loved it. I love it. You know that. But it took me a little while to, like, figure out what being a, a Gunpla streamer was all about. Um, and I'm, you know, thrilled to do it. But love doing it. But, like, yeah, it took me a little while. Oh, fireworks are going off. Hopefully you don't hear that too much. Um, but yeah, I think I'm getting dialed in. I mean, I only have one more build stream and then I have my Hearthstone stream. So I only have one more build stream left uh, um, on uh, on Monday. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting, figuring that out. Uh, again, I should say, so my schedule is I'm, you know, streaming tonight, streaming on Monday, model kit building. Tuesday night, I'm playing some Hearthstone, so feel free to come hang out with Hearthstone as I attempt to uh, rise a few more ranks in the wild uh, uh, ladder in Hearthstone. And then uh, next Thursday and next Saturday, tentatively, I will be streaming from 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Um, there are quiet hours at the Airbnb that I'm staying at, which are from uh, 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. So I'm honoring those quiet hours, even though I'm not certainly not going to make a lot of noise, but I am going to be talking. I just don't want to talk from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. and give them reason for anyone to get mad at me. Um, uh, that's one arm done, by the way. We finished one arm. Uh, one arm has been completely completed, uh, and now we'll move over to the other arm. Uh that right there uh but basically we're gonna do exactly what we just did there every single step including the screws and then we will be done with screws which is good uh because they're only in the arms in some of the um uh, gundam x and the g gundam kits there are screws like in the waist and in the legs and in the arms and it's it there's it's too many too many not not in this one though which is good um so yeah, so uh, so tentatively scheduled for next Thursday, next Saturday, I will be streaming from 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, again, that is with the understanding that I can stream there because I don't know yet. I won't know until I get there if um, I'm able to properly stream. I assume I will be able to, but there is always the possibility that um, uh, that when I get there, like it's just not going to be a good streaming, you know, situation um, because of, uh, you know, various reasons. I mean, the most common reason that that might be an issue is just like if the Wi-Fi is, is bad or if the Wi-Fi is set up in a space where my laptop like is too far away from it for being a steady signal or if it's using like Time Warner, Time Warner, like uh, some of the cable Internet, it just isn't that strong. So it's like, OK, I mean, there are just going to be options. Uh and I don't know uh, what it'll be until I get there. Um, my hope is that I'll be able to stream partially because it'll give me something to do because uh, outside of like some paperwork and some emails, um, I really don't have anything planned between Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, I think a friend is trying to come up to see me on Friday so we can social distance and hang out. 
uh, because they have to come up to New York on Friday, so they're going to try to make some time for me, which is lovely of them. But uh, I don't really have much planned. The, one of the only things I have to do is uh, I have to go and take uh, my router and uh, modem um, from uh, uh, Fios and return it because they will want that back, which that makes sense. And they're like, oh, here's where you bring it, drop it off, which, you know, like, okay. But that's like the only thing I have to do uh, for this next week. So I uh, hope everything goes well with all, all, all ahead of you. Uh, sorry, I got to go. Well, thank you for stopping in. I, I appreciate it much, Droid. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to figure things out. It's going to be okay. It's going to be a weird time. But yeah, uh, this week I have like just strange, like, I don't have much scheduled on when, you know, when Wednesday is move day and then get settled. And then Wednesday night, once I'm settled into the Airbnb, I'm going to like do a stream test to see if I can properly stream. And if that works uh, so that I know that if I'll have a stream for that Thursday and then that Thursday, I think I'm going to try and do uh, um, uh, part of me says like, oh, I should go and um uh, what do you call? Uh, oh, I should go and uh, like back to my um storage unit, make sure that's all like taken care of and set up. And I, I think I might do that. But then also like I can probably on Thursday go and uh, return the um modem and routers. I said I have to do that so that way I can knock that out on Thursday. I don't have to worry about it. Um. Because I have everything, uh, I decided to be, I don't know, I, I guess, I don't know if this is smart, but uh, I made the call that uh, it made sense for me to um, have the uh, electricity and uh, gas and cable, or Fios, my internet, uh, I have all of that going until the second. So that way I didn't wake up to anything getting turned off. And I don't think it would have, but I just wanted to make sure that that was all going to be okay. Uh, because the alternative would be, yeah, like I want to wake up and cook some food maybe on the stove uh, or, or use the microwave or whatever. But like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, you know, it usually doesn't get turned off like immediately, but I want to make sure. But uh, I do have like a week or something to send back the to drop off the computer stuff. So that'll be good. I'll, I guess one thing I do have to do uh, on Tuesday is uh, hopefully uh, the person that wins the Lego sets I'm going to give away on Monday night, hopefully that person will get back to me and I will be able to mail that box to them uh, on that Tuesday. But if not, I'll do that before I fly out because I don't want to take that box with me because I'm already taking some model kits. Uh, Oh, let me get this. Let me just show you here. Uh, I have this. This is a bag of bags. I'm going to reorganize it uh, and put it in two bags. It's an old, very old. Uh, it's got my name on it and like very old. This is a bag of model kits. These are all the model kits, high grades and one Lego set at the bottom, which I'm going to probably separate so it all fits into this bag. This is just a bag of bags. Uh, so that way I don't have boxes with me. Uh, and this is all of the model kits that I have here in New York. Because uh, I didn't want to run out. Like, my thought is that I'll be... I don't think I'm going to finish this up on Monday, but I'll be close. So really, I only need, like, one thing uh, for my other streams. Or I might not even at all. But uh, I was just like, well, I need to have them in case I don't. I don't want to not stream. So now I just have, like a weird assortment of model kits just in a bag, a bag of bags. Uh, Cause it's easier to send that than the boxes. Um, but yeah, that'll, that I, I've got enough kits to last me till, um, uh, till I get to uh, South Carolina. And in South Carolina, I already have a couple kits I've heard have been purchased and one of them was delivered. And I believe another one is on its way. Uh, so there will be kits for me to build when I get there, which is very nice, very generous people. you will love to hear it. Uh, all right, so this...
Oof, a lot of fireworks going on out there. Lots of people making their noises, doing their things. Uh, oh, so it goes like this. I'm just trying to make sure I'm lining this up properly. This goes like that. Yeah. All right. Got it going. Um, but yeah, uh, I, like I said, I had some good family time today, and that was really nice. I mean, I'm going to see my parents very soon, but, you know, uh, I've talked about this. Like, I turned 40, and it's a weird way to turn 40 is to not see my friends. Like, I wasn't going to do a rager, but I was definitely going to do maybe something. Like, maybe I would do something. And, uh, you know, obviously that didn't happen. Uh, and uh, it's kind of weird to not really have anything. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I apologize. Uh, moving is definitely a thing that I've been focusing on. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, one of the very nice things about going to an Airbnb that is walking distance from my current apartment uh, is that I don't have to worry about buying too many groceries for the first. Uh, I just have to make sure that uh, whatever I'm buying at that from that point on is only until that Sunday. So it's like I could buy groceries today and not really worry about it because I still need those. Um, so that has been kind of nice because I'm just going to go and put them in the fridge where I'm going to. So that, that's been convenient. Uh, Santini says, and no taxidermy this time, I hope. Yeah, Santini, so from the photos I saw, I did not see anything that would indicate to me that there's taxidermy. Santini is bringing up, um, uh, I stared at an Airbnb at PAX Unplugged two years ago in Philadelphia, and the room I was in was themed, and that theme was creepy. Uh, it, like the walls were painted a deep red. There was a boar's head over the bed. Um, there was, uh, which was taxidermy boar's head. There was an old uh, uh, wheelchair, you know, those wooden wheelchairs with just big wheels, like bicycle wheels on them in the corner. Um, lots of candles and candle holders. It was, um, I would say weird. It was a weird place. Uh, it was very decorated. Uh, and so, yeah, the place that I, the photos at least lead me to indicate this is just a bedroom and an apartment here. And so I'm, uh, I'm not worried per se. But uh, yeah, that was that was one of the weirdest places I've ever been in my life. Uh, it's a survival horror game. Yeah, Last Brick, it did have a, a survival horror vibe to it. It was um, it was a rough spot. Uh, I'm glad that I, you know, it was also funny because I did stream from there. I only did one day because it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday stream. Like, but I did one day of streaming, and it was like a small little part of a table, and I had to like really. They just, you know, most places aren't set up for my kind of thing. Like, they're set up like, oh, here's where you can put your laptop. But not like, here's where you can put your laptop and a bunch of table space uh, that's near a thing so you can hook up a camera to it. Which I understand. Um, but I'll be bringing my clamp. Usually when I travel, I don't bring the clamp with me, uh, this thing. Um, uh I usually have a tripod, but I'm not flying with a tripod. So I'll be bringing the clamp with me, uh, and that will hopefully uh, get me what I need. Uh, as vis-a-vis -vis, uh, being able to uh, record or uh, stream. Uh, and I'll just, like, I'll figure it out. Like, even if I have to, like, clamp it to a desk on high and then digitally zoom. Because one of the nice things about not doing 16 by 9 not forcing... Um, HD uh, with this webcam is that there's a lot of digital zoom you can do. Uh, so I can make this thing here pretty high and zoom down pretty well. So that that is nice. That is a nice thing of giving up that 16 by 9 vibes. Um, all right, we got one more screw left and we're done with, with, with screws, which is nice. Uh, put that over there. Uh, so we'll put that right there so it stays. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, uh, 
I'm excited to, to have that, like, to... This buffer is interesting. It would have been weird. Uh, the original plan was for me to fly out on the second. And I was going to move everything in my storage unit. And then a friend of mine was going to let me stay with them for... Uh, they have a spare bedroom because they have a, a roommate moved out. So they have a spare bedroom. And they were like, you can stay here, but not for that long. Uh, and I was like, sure. So that was the plan was I was going to go and stay with them just one night and fly out the next day. But uh, all the flights on the second were incredibly expensive uh, Thursday the second. So instead, I'm flying out on Sunday, which is much more reasonably priced. And uh, it was uh, the amount of money of getting this Airbnb the amount of money I'm saving on that is ri kind of ridiculous. One, I'm getting a very good deal because who is staying in Airbnbs, right? So this person, uh, in order to get some money, uh, clearly very much lowered their price. Uh, and I am benefiting from that quite a bit because I think they're just trying to make whatever money they can. And, you know, yeah, make your money before all of it ends and, every, you know, you know, people were saying that in like March and April, all these people that were like, how am I going to pay rent on all these places? I, I don't, everyone's canceling their Airbnbs. And it's like, well, maybe you shouldn't, that shouldn't have been your business model. Like, I understand people that are like, we have a spare bedroom. Or uh, when I went to PAX one year, PAX West in Seattle, um, there were, I was one of the last people to stay in the Airbnb. Uh, what these these two uh, uh, young folks did. Uh, oh, we got a new follower. Thank you very much, uh, Cal, uh, Cal Unit. Or Cal Unit. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, what these two ladies did was they, they each had boyfriends that, that lived in other places and they would just go stay with them while uh, someone used their room. And it was just, you know, supplement their income. And I'm like, yeah, cool. It's the people that are like, I have pay rent on this uh, three bedroom and only rent it out to Airbnb people. And that is my business. And I have four of them. Those folks are certainly suffering. Uh, there's a apartment building that I stayed in uh, where every floor was just Airbnb rooms, like rent, rent, rent the room. That was in Boston, in Chinatown. And I stayed there to go to PAX and it was reasonably priced and then the next year I went to look at it again and they uh, the person had uh, that that building was not an Airbnb anymore and I wonder if they you know got found out or just chose to go a different way with it I, I, I don't know but it was I was I did look to see because it was reasonably priced and not too far away so I was like well if I can do it I will I'm not too proud to go back to a place. Hey, Christian, welcome. Um, so yeah, like, uh, I'm happy that I'm going to have a few days between moving out and, and going to South Carolina to kind of figure things out and, and transition. Um, I have, uh, I don't have anything necessarily lined up right now. Um, I've, I put a few feelers out locally, uh, uh, really messed up the local rental market. Yeah, totally, right? Like I said, I'm staying at a place for four nights for not a lot of money. The amount of money I saved by flying out on the fifth instead of the second and getting an Airbnb is unbelievable how much money I have, I am saving by doing this. Um, uh, but yeah, no, the, um, uh, you know, part of the reason why this is happening is because my roommate moved out to move in with his girlfriend because he was quarantining with her and it did make some sense for him to pay rent at two places, which I understand it fucked me over and fucked me up pretty bad. But I do understand why that happened. Uh, I wish it hadn't happened, but I do like get it. Uh, um, you know, like I said, yeah, it wasn't I wasn't like psyched about it uh but um but i get it all right um let's see i think we're gonna do on this other one we're gonna do a closed fist instead of uh 
No, we'll, we'll instead of this hand is articulating can hold weapons, and we we built that. It's nice to be able to kind of see that and play around with that. But I think for this other one, we are going to instead just put together like a fist. So we'll do eighteen or yeah, eighteen. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a good deal on this place that I'm staying at, and that's great. Uh, and they're getting something, so good for them too. Uh, but yeah, so this has uh, this kit comes with like the you know the fists, and then also uh, uh, some open hands here, and then you can build the grippy to hold a weapon, which is cool. We can play around with that. It's not the rubber ones that you'll see in some, but yeah, it's got a little little style to it. But yeah, this is just the closed up fist. It does give you options though. All right, and we have finished two hands, which is cool. Uh, let's get started on um, some of the leg units. And again, uh, this doesn't do a lot of like, do this twice and then do whatever. We're just gonna build one whole leg, right? I think, yeah. And then we're gonna build one whole other leg instead of building, even though they are basically symmetrical. The, this kit just wants me to build it all at once. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll listen to this kit. Um, I will say this. Because I, uh, I should have I moved my, my computer into here, into this room, which is my roommate's room, uh, when he moved out, when I I didn't do it because I was hunting for a new roommate, right? I was looking for a new roommate, and I wanted to have the room cleaned up and ready to show it. Uh, that was important to me, um, was that it looked nice, so I didn't want to stage it and make it a stream room. And then once I realized I, I was going to move out, it made sense to have this be a space that I could get uh, stuff ready to go. Uh, the kit is always right, says Christian. Yeah, Christian, you're not wrong. I mean, it... it as I said, this is a two th year from the year 2000. It is a blast from the past. It's doing its best. Um, but yeah, no. So once I realized like, oh, I'm going to move out. Uh, then it became like, well, if I'm not streaming in that bedroom, then I open it up to do other stuff. And now I broke down my old bed and I'm getting rid of the, to get rid of it. And I'm sleeping on my futon, uh, my day bed uh, in the living room. And so I'm like doing my computer stuff in one room and then I leave this room and I go to sleep in another room. And I got to tell you folks, that's nice. I have to, I had to like remind myself at one point to like move my, to, to get another uh, charger so I could charge my phone because it's usually around my computer. Uh, but I was like, oh, I need another spot. But I have been, you know, like I had my living room and would certainly spend some time in there, but I was streaming and doing all my computer stuff and doing any work that I do on the computer in the same room as my bed, my bedroom. And it's nice to be able to walk out of that. Like, I don't, I don't expect to, to have a time in my life in any time in the future where I will have enough space for an office and a bedroom. Um, but I'm going to try to, if there's work I can do on my laptop, take my laptop out to uh, the living room or uh, out. Uh, my parents have a little bit of an indoor, uh, a screened in porch area. Maybe I can take my laptop or my iPad out there to do some work. Um, but to just leave the room that I'm in, I think that's uh, that's something that I didn't really appreciate. Like, you know, so on, on some days I would, uh, you know, work uh, on the computer, get getting, you know, doing doing various things or just hanging out, doing whatever, depending on the day. And then I would uh, set up for my streams, do my streams, and then uh, cool down, hang out, uh, relax before, uh, before, you know, maybe get some work done, watch some videos and then go to sleep. And that, that was my schedule. That's been my schedule. Um, and it's like worked for me. But now I realize that the alternative, which I really like, is that like right now, I do my stream and then 
uh, I'll be on the computer for a little bit, kind of cool down, watch a video or two. And then I'm going to leave this room and go sleep somewhere else. And that's pretty great. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Also, a thing that I've been able to do because I because I didn't have a roommate and I could set up all of this is I just had my streaming setup ready. Like this webcam here hasn't moved since uh, I packed up my computer on Wednesday. I just and got my laptop set up. I just set everything up, made figured out a way that I like it, and then I'm good to go. And I don't have to adjust anything. And that has uh, been very nice. So that is the plan. Um, is I'm going to basically in the bedroom that I'm going to be staying in um, when I get down to South Carolina, I'm just going to be setting up how I would like it to be uh, the whole time and then not worry about it. Uh, like basically just be like, okay, this is where my monitors go. This is where my computer goes. This is, you know, this is where I stream from the end. And then, uh, not have to really move things around too much or adjust it. Whereas before I had my computer desk, my computer, and then I would set this table up and then move stuff over. I'm just gonna set up my table and make that my primary work area. And I think that will make, uh, it'll basically, I mean, not having, honestly, 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 once I stopped using the green screen, it made setup time so much easier. It is it has cut my setup time in by like a third. Uh, it is so nice to not worry about uh, having to do that. Like just like just being like, okay, yeah, no, I have a like, yeah, sure, okay, I'll do this and that, and we're ready to go. And I don't have to set up lights and move things in and put a green screen up and set up a backdrop and do all that. Like and adjust for things like I kind of miss it the the idea like I've done some videos now where I'm just like in the corner and I'm not like part of the background and I'm like oh I kind of miss having that but I don't miss it that much honestly uh it is a nice thing to have and I saved it I saved my green sheet and I saved the poles and I saved my lights that's that's going into storage because you know down the line someday it would be nice to have an office and maybe permanently set up the green wall there a green sheet and and the lights and permanently like set the lighting for the room and be ready to do it um but right now so nice not having to worry about that so nice all right let's get uh, a little bit more of this done here and then we'll take a pause for the cause in a moment or two. I'll talk about ways you can support the stream if that's something you'd like to do, uh, which is what we do over here as way of prom self promotion and doing our thing. Uh, that is a a thing we do here on the Bill Bear Workshop. Let me just get this piece connected here. Why don't you want to get connected? There we go. Now you're connected part of our leg there um come on, this going here uh let's see yeah uh we're going to talk about some anime stuff i uh uh we are at the end of the season and of course this season was disjointed where some things we saw all of the show and other things uh got delayed some of which have been announced they're coming back at the end of july one show uh, is already back. Uh, a few more coming back later. Um, so this is always an odd time where like things are ending, but like new stuff is starting. Question mark. But uh, but like not sure when. It's like early in July, so it's like this coming week new things will have started up. Uh, but some shows are announced for the season, but they have they don't have a date yet. And then there's stuff that's like been announced because it's coming back, but not all of those shows have been announced coming back, so nobody knows. And so it is a weird time. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for new anime. So I finished up one show. We'll talk about that after the break. And I uh, watched more of a show that I had watched. I had watched previously, and I'm kind of rewatching again. And then I hit the old random button on Crunchyroll and found a cute little show that I've never seen before. Uh, and watch some of it, and I might watch more of it because, as I said, 
it was a cute little show, and uh, I could use a little cute, you know, a little, little cute now and again. In this economy, sure, it'd be, it, I'd be a fool not to. Anyway, we'll get to that. Let me just connect these two pieces, and then it's after 10 p.m. Eastern time, so it's time for a pause for the cause, because uh, I got, you know, got to do that part. Uh, okay, so we'll attach this part, and then we'll put the encase, the closure on it in a moment. All right, let's switch over to the uh, intro portion here. Hi, first and foremost, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the stream, we're going to get back to building in just a moment or two, but I want to take a moment to thank everybody for being here. If you're currently a subscriber, you can go to the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe Emote in the chat. I appreciate that so much. Uh, you could become a subscriber if you're not already. Uh, you can use Twitch Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you link it with your Twitch, you get a coin, you can use that. Aristofan's here. Hi, Aristofan. And didn't know you were in uh, the chat. That's awesome. Welcome, of course. Um, you can also use Cash Money. You could gift a sub. If you gift a sub, a cool thing that happens is that people get emotes because we're still celebrating Pride right now into July because they started a little late on celebrating Pride, which is great. Uh, also, uh, bits and coins are always appreciated. If you do up uh, 300 or more, uh, you also unlock emotes for other people. Uh, and, you know, in just general, gift and sub is a cool thing you can do to support the stream. Um, we got a bunch of gifted subs. We got a bunch of new subs coming in this week uh, for my birthday, which is very nice of people, and I appreciate it much. But you're under no obligation to, to do that. You don't have to do that stuff. If you want to, you certainly can, but you don't have to. Uh, it's just a thing you can do. Um, I'm going to talk about ways you can support the channel if you're so inclined. Again, we'll go through this fast, and then we'll get back to building very soon. If you're watching this on YouTube, hi. Thanks for watching later. It's all in the show description. If you're watching this later on a VOD, just look over in the chat because the it does archive the chat and you can see that stuff there. Uh, I do have a Patreon. You can join my Patreon. Uh, I would recommend doing that next month. Uh, sales tax is going to become a thing. So if you do want to join my Patreon because you want to join at the $1 or the $3 level, you don't want to be tied down to $5. You don't want to give this. You don't want to use Jeff Bezos' money. I get you. I hear you. I see you. Um, that's another option is join my Patreon. Also, you can just give me monies. Here are ways you could uh, benefit me uh, financially. And all of this goes to buying model kits and equipment. I should be good on equipment. Um, but... Uh, anything for my coffee, for my stream labs, for my PayPal during a stream, any money I get from Twitch, any money I get from ad revenue on um, uh, uh, YouTube, which it's going to be a while. I've only gotten ever gotten that once. Maybe someday I'll get more. Uh, but anything I get from my Patreon, that all goes to me buying model kits and equipment. Uh, oh, we got a new subscriber. Uh, uh, Def Beast just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Let's throw the emotes in the chat. We're going to use our little soundboard doohickey. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you. And you also unlocked some emotes for people, which rules. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for joining. I appreciate that very much. And using your Twitch Prime coin on me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I mailed a computer safely and I mailed, uh, some monitors safely. If something shows up weird, then I'll have to buy something to replace it. Uh, fix it. And that'll come from funds that come in from, from folks, uh, which is lovely. Uh, oh, and also, DefBeats is now following. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, following is always good, folks. Turn your notifications on so you know when I go live so that you can see what I'm up to. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to get through these real quick and then we'll get back to building. Uh, I have an Amazon wish list. It will go to my parents' folks, uh, my parents' house in South Carolina, which is where I'm going to be living for the next few months. Uh, so if you buy something off that wish list, uh, it'll go there. Make sure that it has Amazon Prime or ships with Prime uh, because things are going to take a while. But there's some Lego sets there that are now coming down to a decent price, like the ice cream truck, which is, looks like a, just a cute kit. It's a newish kit. Um, and uh, some model kits, uh, a various... Uh, high grade model kits and master grades and things are pricey but if you want to buy something from there I'll build it on stream and it gets priority so as soon as I get there I'm going to be doing a mailbag video of anything that people sent me and then 
that'll be those will be the kits that I build instead of the stuff that I have on my own backlog of stuff that I just bought for myself to build. Um, alternative is to buy something uh, is to buy a gift card from USA Gundam Store. Then you whisper me with a code because you get in your email, or you uh, whisper me here on Twitch or DM me on Twitter because my tweets are. DMs are open, so if you want to send me that. Um, but you buy a gift card, then I buy something, and I'm probably going to pre-order something. Uh, I've been doing that with, with people who have been sending me uh, gift cards. I'm using it for pre-order purchases um, uh, to build in the future because uh, that way I don't have to like buy something and make sure I didn't have it on my wish list and and all of that and then wait for availability. I'll just get something in the future. Uh, I have a Discord. You can join my Discord if you want to. We're going to get back to building in just a moment or two. Um, Discord's nice. I post photos of stuff I'm working on. People post photos of things they're working on. I'm getting a little bit of water right now because I need it. Uh, I got a couple of video series that I want to chat with you about. Um, I do videos. Uh, Bearing the List is a weekly show. I do every Wednesday where I break down stuff using Tear Maker. Um, and this past video, I uh, corrected a wrong and I made a video about uh, Orange Cassidy, the wrestler's ring attire, because I had made one the previous week. And then he added a new piece of gear, a new outfit, the day I put out a video. So I had to rectify that problem. It's fixed now. Um, and then let's see. Uh... Another video they made. Oh, uh, Pepper's Anime Club. Uh, I made a video about uh, two shows that were my favorites this season and two that didn't get to finish because of uh, the pandemic. And I'm hoping that they resume because they're great. So if you're looking for something to uh, to marathon, uh, I'll give you an idea of a couple shows I really liked and why I liked them. And then I talk about a couple shows that I think, uh, you know, you could get caught up on. One only had three episodes. One had like eight or seven or eight. So it was pretty far along before it went on hiatus. Um, whereas one went away pretty early. Uh, I think that's it for Nightbot. Okay, yeah. Uh, Nightbot commands anime. So we're going to talk about anime. We're going to go back to building here. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about uh, some anime for uh, for a little while. Oh, Christian wants me to hit that gong. So before I talk about anime, the, and you might ask yourself, Pat, one for anime, right? Pat, is this going to go to South Carolina? And the answer is yes. It's going in my suitcase. It's going on my checked bag on the plane. So yeah, there will be there will continue to be a gong in my future. The gong survives. Yes, I gotta bring the gong with me. I mean, you know, if it makes it through the flight, it makes it through the flight. Okay, so the final episode of season two of Kaguya-sama: Love Is War happened, and so it. I will say it did end silly, but these last three episodes were not really that goofy or silly. They were just nice and sweet. This one episode, most of this episode was pretty dang touching. Um, and I really liked it. It was Kaguya, like, we've heard for the past two seasons, she's been on her phone, she's got a, you know, flip phone, and she had some photos, and it was kind of the first time that she'd ever, like, taken photos of her friends and had, like, sweet memories. And there's this whole thing of the principal who's barely been in the show. He, I think this is the second time he was in this whole season he was more in the first season because uh, it's been a little bit of a disjointed show uh, this season but yeah there's a moment where he's taking photos and uh, then uh, an accident happens and her phone gets broken and it's genuinely a sweet moment of, of her just being like really lost and she gets a new phone and they make a, a line cl uh, uh, group uh, for the student council and they've got those photos those photos that they've they took those memories she had they're sharing them and it was like a sweet touching little moment it was like really nice and there wasn't any like play or like attempting to one up one another uh, it was just like her having genuine emotions and her being like a fully flushed out character and it was just like really nice and supportive and you like get how much they care about one another there were some jokes I and mean, there were gags it's a comedy but like for the most part it was sweet and it wasn't over the top and 
as I said, this this season has been disjointed. They spent time dealing with minor characters. They, anytime an anime introduces a new character, it's always at the expense of other characters, and it's always kind of a bummer. But like, I, I think overall it, it handled itself pretty well. Um, and then, then there's this weird extra thing where uh, Chika uh, has a balloon. <sighs> They do this thing where they have a balloon and a bicycle pump. And I didn't think, I still don't think that's a real thing that anyone's ever done. I assume that was just a Mario Party game. It's the, But they did the Mario Party game, like, as a thing. And it ended ridiculously over the top and weirdly. And I was like, what is happening right now? What is this show? It was a very strange end to the season. Uh, but overall, that's a good show. Uh, the first season is on... Uh, the first two seasons are on Funimation. The first season is also on Crunchyroll. They did not get the second season. Um, uh, I would say that if you are looking for a show to check out, um, you'll get, you know, 24 episodes between the two seasons. Uh Take this from me, a person that does not like Sundere. These are characters who are acting very Sundere, but they are plottingly. It's not like, oh, I don't know how to be a person. I'm going to act like this weirdo. It's these. It's people who are they have they have a point to it, and it's over the it's an over the top romantic comedy show. The supporting cast is fantastic. You're going to hate a dude in the first season, and by the end of the second season, you're, like, cheering for him because he had an arc and he grew as a person. And you're like, what? what's going on, anime? Yeah. Uh, uh, Love is War. Uh, Kage-sama Love is War uh, Season 2 is was really fun. As I said, just joined it in some parts. I think the student council, like re-election stuff and the new character, I don't love her as much as some people I know out there do. Uh, there were other folks th that I know who like, who I think identified with the character more than I did. Um, but overall, I thought it was pretty dang cool. Okay, so uh, I talked about this on Thursday. I went back into my archives, or just a show that I watched a long time ago. I started watching again, and that show is Samurai Flamenco. Uh, and I'm finished Samurai Flamenco between Thursday and today. Uh, I that was my dinner activity today because I only had one and well, only one show to, to watch before the new stuff, you know, for the season ended. So. I was like, well, I guess I'll watch this. Uh, I forgot how fucked up that show gets. So if you've never seen Samurai Flamenco, it's basically like, what if a model had a strong sense of justice and wanted to become like a Power Ranger, basically? Or Ultraman or some sort of Sentai? And he does. And then his actions bring in other people to his world. And in some ways, that's great. And in other ways, that is not good at all. And there's some, like, real, like, trauma that some characters go through. And uh, it, like, it gets just fucking weird and over the top. And it the show, like, the show basically, like, here, uh, let's see if I can give this example. Um... You know how, uh, for some people, they were very young when the first Harry Potter book came out, right? And as they grew up, the books grew up. Is You know, like, you, some people who read it all there, like, they become much more adult. And now this is way more over the top. But it does do that thing where it's like, the show basically is just like, okay, you are, you understand this world, right? Well, we've got more episodes, so strap the fuck in because we have more things to say. I don't know if it succeeds in the things it wants to convey, particularly. Um, I think that it does have... Sorry, I'm just going to check this real quick. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, somebody's asking me a thing. I'll deal with this. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I put a photo of uh, on my face mask. I bought a face mask just for flying. I have masks, but this one is adjustable. Uh, you can 
this this part here adjust and then you can tie it off in the back and I bought it from a big face but also just for flying this mask is going to be for flying specifically I'm not going to wear it until then uh, but somebody just asked, put a comment on my uh, uh, asking where I got it so I have to like send them the link which I will because I Bought it from I bought it from a website that sells a bunch of different things. Right now, they're only making masks. They used to make other things, but this site uh, somebody sent me them because they uh, they bought masks from them. But they used to buy um, dog leashes from them, like uh, apparently very good dog leashes. And then they already were using the site, and the site was selling masks. And apparently, they you know they like the mask. So uh, there's also a person that has like my kind of big fakes so i thought that was good um but uh i'll have to share that link with with this person um soon uh after the stream right because we're still talking about it. anyway like i said i'm not a hundred percent sure if if uh samurai flamenco is successful in what it is trying to convey but it's got style it's a good looking weird show uh, and, uh, it's, uh, it's on Funimation and I believe Crunchyroll as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's got, it, it's got something to say. I just don't know if it knows what it wants to say. If that makes any sense. But, uh, it was fun to revisit it because I, I just hadn't really, I hadn't thought about it. And then I saw it listed on some website of like, here's some weird thing here's some weird anime you didn't know existed and i'm like i do know this existed i just haven't thought about it all right so 13 is this one uh i still don't know what flamenco actually <laughs> means yeah uh it's i think they were just trying to go for like fire you know i don't know, like flame and they just said it a weird way i don't i don't know that's my that is uh some conjecture on the part of pat bear uh yeah, the series makes a huge deal about the name. You're not wrong. Uh, it, it's a fine show. Uh, so the other thing I watched is a thing. I don't I don't remember what year this came out. I'm going to look this up. Uh, it's on Crunchyroll, and it is a very uh, short series. It's three-minute episodes, so it's one of those shows, right? Uh, I hit the random button a bunch, and I got it. But it's 26 episodes, so even though it's a short show, there's a lot of it. And I watched, like I think, like half of it. Um, uh, and it's called uh, Mortisan. Uh, wa, uh, Mukuchi, uh, Mukuchi, 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 uh, Mortisan Wa Mukuchi. Uh, it's a really cute little series. It's like a four panel, um, uh, manga that turned into 26 episodes. Uh, and like I said, it's three minute episodes. Uh, uh, flamenco is a style of dance. Yes, Santini. Um, but that doesn't seem to be important to the show really. Um, Anyway, so Mortisan uh, is a cute little show about uh, high school students. Primarily, we we're focused on the quiet girl, the girl that doesn't say a lot. She does a lot of thinking, but she uh, uh, she doesn't communicate that much. And her best friend, who doesn't stop fu stop fucking talking, who talks all the time, and in the end of the first episode, literally says, "You know what I like about you? You're a good listener." Um, and there are other characters uh, throughout, and they've got different stuff going on with them. And I'll say this: if y'all are looking for like a cute little slice of life with, the, like, you know, like I said, it's very short. Every episode is incredibly short. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Get out of here. I'm not talking to you. Uh, it is a cute little show, and I recommend it. So, uh, Mortisan, uh, it is on Crunchyroll. As I said, they are three-minute episodes. I am going to probably keep watching it because um, my normal Monday, uh, stuff I normally watch for Monday is just two shows. Oops. Oh, no. Um, all I have for Monday is um, uh, the last episode of Sachibato President, It's Time for Battle, and Extra Olympia Kaiklos. Uh, uh, and that one of those shows is only five, it's like five minutes, so, or eight, yeah, it's a five minute show. So I'm going to have some anime. I'm going to have to watch some bonus stuff for y'all because nothing is starting until 
uh, I believe. Let me actually look. Uh, any charts? Summer 2020. Let me log in here. Got to log into any list. Tell them I'm not a robot. Uh, we'll go to, uh, go to summer and then sort by next airing episode. No, that's not one. Uh, start date. There we go. Uh, yeah, the next. The next new show is starting in five days. So that is, uh, yeah, Thursday is basically when things start. Thursday, we're getting the second season of Fire Force. Uh, that'll be something I'll be watching. Uh, uh, and then next Friday is the uh, the Demon Academy uh, show. Uh, God of High School is after that. Uh, Decadence is after that. That's in like 10 days. Uh, Uzaki-chan is, is like two weeks from now. Uh, so things are coming back. Uh, geez, the feet on the G40 Gundam are ridiculous. Okay. All right. Okay, Lashbrook. Settle down, buddy. How do you mean ridiculous? I don't, I don't remember. Too much detail? Not enough detail? Too too much detail. Lots of lots of stickers. No stickers. Lots of screws. What's going on, buddy? What do you got going on there? Uh, let's see. How is this supposed to go? Uh, it's like fifteen pieces each. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a lot. It makes sense that you're like, oh boy. All right, so the smaller one goes there. Okay. Um, uh, we're building the legs now, and there's, like, components that have to clip into these, like, parts here because they can move around a bit. So we got to make sure that we're, we're setting that up properly. Um, so let's... Uh, A30. Okay, we'll do that. Um... Yeah, so there's some there's some stuff coming out next season that I'm excited about, uh, but it's a weird season where it's like because so much stuff got delayed this year or this season that it's coming back. Like there isn't a lot of new stuff. Like uh, one thing I thought was kind of neat is um, they only had three episodes or two episodes, maybe maybe three, at least two, maybe three. I can't remember of. Um, uh, of uh, Food Wars. So I think they're going to re-air those, which was pretty cool. Uh, Lashbrook says, there are like three main sections that can separate flexibility, but fully extended just make me think of Sonic's feet when he runs. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. That's a visual. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, and I know some ongoing stuff is coming back. Uh, Annie chart, which is usually good for knowing when things are, are happening, isn't necessarily the best at... They don't include some ongoing sometimes. They include some of them, but not all of them. Like, they don't include Black Clover, and I don't know why. Or, or Boruto, or One Piece. Like, the weekly shows that are all on hiatus, they don't ever do a great job of letting you know uh, when, like, when those episodes are, which is frustrating. Shit is coming back. Yeah, Christian, shit is starting to come back. Like I said, uh... Uh, Extra Olympia came back last week. Um, uh, Crunchy has an article where they do what's coming back and when. Oh, all right. Let me take a look at that and see if I can find that article. Um, God of High School. Oh, yeah. So you can find it on Crunchyroll's YouTube. They, they have a few minutes, like the first couple minutes of the God of High School anime, like the first episode, which looked pretty good. Uh, all right. That's summer anime. Uh... It's weird. They have that. Um, this is the summer summer lineup. Okay, so Barato is coming back at um, oh uh, Barato is coming back on July fifth. 
Case Close is coming back, but doesn't say when. Idolish is coming back. Gundam Build Divers is coming back. Uh, those are things that we know. Um, uh, Baruto is a show that I, I caught up on. Um, Digimon uh, is coming back. Uh, I'm not watching that. Food Wars, episode three. Yes, so Food Wars is returning July 3rd, but episode three is coming back on the 17th. So they're basically going to restart the anime from the first episode of this season on the 3rd. Uh, and then so the new one will be there. Uh, Sword Art Online is coming back. Uh, Railgun is coming back uh, in July. Uh, Major 2nd Season 2, which I don't watch. Got to build ever. So no Black Clover announcement yet, it looks like. Which Oh, no. Here we go. More of that. There is. There is. Look, there's info, y'all. Uh, yes, the summer lineup has that included, so that's good. Uh, One Piece is, ooh, One Piece is coming back, uh, tomorrow. All right, I'll probably check that out and, uh, and, uh, report about that on Monday because we were on a bit of a cliffhanger with One Piece, so I guess I will check that out for, uh, for Monday. Normally I watch a bunch of episodes, uh, I wait and then catch up, but... All right, Black Clover is coming back on the 7th. So that's obviously not this week, uh, but that following Tuesday. So that's good. I'll be able to get back into that. And I don't watch any of these other ones that are coming back. Those are the ones. And like I said, Baruto, I was, I'm was i actually like not interested in this current storyline. So I'm not really like actively thinking about that. But for One Piece, I'll check that out. Uh, I like One Piece. Black Clover... Uh, it's going to be interesting what they do because uh, so they only did one episode before they went on hiatus of their filler arc. This is the first arc they've ever had that's been filler because up until this point, the anime, they were just going through whatever was in the manga and they hadn't had, uh, they the, but they like were catching up. So they were like, we're going to do a filler arc, which was their first one. And then they went on hiatus. So like, I don't know what that means. Like, obviously, not the manga didn't like continue every week since then. Uh, I went on hiatus for a bit too, I believe. So I don't know, uh, but I am excited to see where it goes. They're in some sort of dungeon at the in, inside a volcano. Get powered up because they're basically uh, Black Clover. They're at the point now where they have a deadline. The they have to go fight some demon, a demon who is stronger by multitudes than the previous demon they fought and they all need to get stronger and I believe that in the manga we don't see any of them getting stronger there's like flashbacks apparently to moments which are going to basically like let them like piece together some filler uh, based on like okay well we know this person has this ability how do they get this ability? What well, we can add that in filler. Um, so it'd be kind of interesting to see how they do. Uh, I'm not like I'm not I'm never like oh well no uh, filler doesn't ever work. Like there's sometimes where I think filler can be good, um, but it has to be handled very well. Um, I think you can do good filler. It's just it is hard. It's hard to do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they what that ends up looking like. That's a show that I enjoy. So, uh, I'll say, uh, I like Fire Force. I don't love Fire Force. I think uh, a lot of, uh, Fire Force has heart. Um, uh, but, um, but, uh, it, it's some of this character stuff I think is poorly done. And, uh, there are some new characters coming in that I'm like, well, I hope these are okay. Uh, so Bleach had some, here's the thing, Bleach had too much filler. Bleach is so much filler, um, that like, while some of it was good, there's just so much of it that is just bogged down. Uh, there's a, um, there was a site, I can't remember the name of it, it's probably the Bleach Wiki or something, but it was probably before there was wikis, uh, or wikias. Uh, that was just like that broke down uh, if it was from the manga or fi like filler that like episodes or filler arcs. Uh, but basically every 
uh, Bleach arc has at least three episodes that are not manga related that were just made for it and then there's obviously whole arcs that just don't have anything the problem with bleach is that sometimes bleach like uh sometimes bleach would just pretend or, well naruto is like this too naruto uh has filler that they don't acknowledge it just happens and then because it's filler they don't do anything with it uh bleach at least most of the time anyway like would incorporate into their story uh but sometimes they would not. And that was frustrating. Oh yeah, so you can see here that this uh, this pops out and opens up here if you need it to. I forget what goes in there. We'll find out later. Um, because, uh, yeah. uh, it had so much of it at, at any point they straight up did a reference to the fact they had where th that they were in a filler arc. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at a certain point they're just like kind of pseudo acknowledging it. And you know, I'm not a get. Uh, I, I get. Uh, I I didn't. As I said, I I didn't love that. Uh, all the filler. Um, I just didn't. Uh, at least uh, Naruto. Some of their filler arc stuff, like, kind of uh, blue uh, expanded the universe in some ways that I thought was pretty neat. Um, uh, there is a filler at the very end of Naruto. Ship it in. Um, that is like this ongoing thing of it's all dream sequences, and I think that it, like it actually turned out great how they did the dream sequences. But it's all like they're all in a state of suspended animation, and we just see what they what they're envisioning in their heads. And I'm like, that's pretty neat. And it's like a good uh, examination of those characters, a good way to do it. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's just bizarre how much filler some of these shows have. Like, they just, they need it, right? They, like, this this is what happens. Sometimes it's, look, sometimes filler is to um, uh, expand on things, right? Is to, uh, to take a thing that already exists and to see, like, all right, well, hey, well, we, we can animate this section we can explore this idea. We can blow this idea out farther than we when, than origin, the original incarnation of it. Uh, hey, you know how you have these like things that you added later? Well, we can put hints to those things in there. Uh, and I, I'm always in favor of that. But sometimes they just are like, well, we need three weeks. We need three weeks of filler. And then there's one piece which sometimes they're just stretching material out. And a, a episode of One Piece will be like three pages of the manga. And you're like, fuck off. Uh, there's like, there's some okay filler in it, like filler like arcs. Um, the, uh, I always think about like the Heavens Tournament and how like they had to like fight to include a character in that later in the show uh, from Dragon Ball Z because it was like a filler arc and they were like we we want to incorporate that character from the filler arc and they're like uh oh and like some some people fought for it because they were like this is a cool character and people like it but he doesn't exist in the rest of the show so we need to fight for his inclusion all right so we need PCI. PCI is EFG, HI. Wait, I need two of those. Though. Oh, they're up here. Great. Um, but yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, good filler, uh, you know, can fill in the blanks. It, it can expand upon things. Um, uh, so, uh... Uh, added stuff that there's been stuff added into uh, My Hero Academia that is like really solid and good and I think like uh, you know some of that stuff is in the manga as well like or like touched on like extra chapters in the manga but I think it, it can be pretty solid uh, but then sometimes it's just bad it just ends up being real bad and shouldn't have been included and oh well what are you going to do? 
Um, let's see, like I said, so stuff is coming back, and I will keep an eye on things. Uh, uh, I got to see if Funimation is going to do a thing. Uh, Breakwater is the show that I... Uh, Diary of Our Days at Breakwater is the show that I would love to see come back at the end of July, and I hope it does, because that show only had a couple episodes, and it is encoding. Oh, I got some kind of weird encoding thing. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully everything's okay. Uh, folks, if you're watching this stream later in video format, let me know if something weird happened. Uh, uh, but yeah, only three episodes aired, and it was just getting good. So I'm hoping that Diaries of Days of Breakwater uh, comes back because I liked it. Uh, and there wasn't a lot. There were Slice of Life, but like there weren't silly Slice of Life, you know? Uh, there was drama Slice of Life and, you know, comedy, but like Kakshigoto is it is a comedy, but it also is very sad and then very heartening and like really good. And I do recommend it if you didn't end up catching that show. Like, I think it is one of the best shows of the season. But, uh, like, it's, it, yeah. Let's see here. So, yeah, I'm glad stuff's coming back. I think that, you know, we, we all benefit from having more shows and seeing stuff and you know some things got delayed because things got delayed to the new seasons like uh the misfit of demon school or of uh, yeah whatever it is uh was supposed to be this season digimon is coming back yep i'm, I'm not watching it because i don't i i don't care i liked I, I never got into it. I liked episodes of Digimon. I was never super into the show. Uh, so its return doesn't really do it for me. So I didn't watch it as it came back this season. And then it coming back from my hiatus. I'm glad, I'm glad it's coming back from hiatus because I know people really like it. So I'm excited for those people to be able to see the show they want to see. But it doesn't really do anything for me uh, is this L nope H I D K L here's L great Christian I'm glad the animation's good uh, I just yeah it just doesn't it that show has just never had any appeal to me um, but I hope people really like it uh, and I hope that creepy ball guy isn't in it, because then I'll have to see that creepy ball man. I forget the character's name, but I don't want to see that guy. He was basically the, just a creep from another anime that ends up in that show, basically. I don't want that guy. I hope he doesn't show up in the new show, because then people will post photos of him, and I don't want that. I hate that guy. Just a mad balls that became... A Digimon. He's like not a Digimon. He just like wills himself into that universe. I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, but yeah, Digimon's never like been my my show. So I just never, never got into it. But I am excited for new stuff, and I'm excited for some uh, returns as well. Hopefully there'll be some stuff, some real cool shit coming back. And my ongoings to return. Oh, my ongoings. It's been so weird because I've been watching, like, I came into Black Clover, like, when it first started. And then I was like, eh, I don't really like this. And then I started seeing clips and I was like, oh, I'll get caught up on it. But, like, the past, I don't know, year, that's every Tuesday night. You know, at some point on Tuesday, usually in the evening, uh... Or Wednesday, if I if I got busy or something, like I would be able to watch that show, and it's been a constant because it only took a break. It this last break before this hiatus was around Christmas. It took a break, um, and they put up uh, Petite Clover or the, their or Clover. There was a little side series, but like around Christmas, they took a week off, and then they did like. Uh, 
so it, it has been weird to like not have that show just be on every week. I don't know. Uh, if there's anything y'all want to talk about tonight, uh, we've got some time left in the stream. You know, uh, uh, I would be more than happy to chat with y'all if you've got something you want to talk about. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, I refreshed Twitter and there was just a giant image, close-up image of a of a man that I didn't want to look at. And I was like, ugh. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you want to chat about, we got a little time left. Um, I, of course, we'll be back on Monday with the next build stream. And then Tuesday night, I'm playing Hearthstone, also at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, for my weekly bonus gaming stream. Um, because that's the thing I can do with this setup. And then I'm getting ready to to make the move the Airbnb as I said next Thursday and next Saturday I will hopefully be able to stream but I do not know for sure if that's something that's going to happen um, but uh, hopefully it will uh, so keep peeled for that uh, let's see yeah, if there's anything y'all want to chat about tonight. Uh, I'm not going to be raiding tonight. I won't be taking you anywhere tonight. I do encourage you to go and look at other stuff because there's a stream that... Er, well, I don't want to raid the thing that I'm going to go do. Uh, have you built the Zabi Verka? Yes! It had the the box since October. I did. I bought uh, the Zabi uh, Verka uh, real grade. Um, I don't have photos right... Uh, let's see if I can find a photo of it. Um, the build photo... Uh, Encoder overloading. Consider turning down video settings. Okay, I might have to turn down video settings for future recording because I guess I'm having issues with that. Whatever. Um, uh, so I think a underscore. I sent a photo. Um, I did the Ruby clear coat. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, and it was great. Um, Let's see if I can find the photo of that because I sent it to somebody not too long ago. And we'll see if I have that image and I can bring it up. Uh, it is an incredible... Yes, I did. I took. I found it, took a photo of it. Uh, I did the Ruby Clear one and that is a beautiful, beautiful kit. And I'm saving a photo now to my desktop. And then I'm going to add a photo here so that we can all look at how beautiful a kit that was. Um, it is probably the best real grade I've ever built. Um, I'm not always a huge fan of the real grades, but it turned out really good. Uh, here it is. Oh, it's big. Look at that thing. I'll make it smaller. So we can... There it is. Look at that thing. Look at the Sazabi. Look how much this thing rules. Uh, I didn't take a full photo of it because of all the, with all the rocket things in there. That's actually the part that sucks is uh, all of the, the things that go in here uh, uh, suck. Yeah, so this one I got at, uh, I believe I bought this uh, at New York Comic Con. I think uh, um, the black underneath, and it's two different, like this pink, this ruby, this red is different from this red. And so the to kind of that and the stuff that's over black, but even the regular real grade is incredible. Uh, the weapons were really great. You can kind of see that there. Uh, the green is really nice. This is a really fantastic kit. Uh, I highly recommend it um, if you are looking. Uh, if you got it, you said you had it since October. Uh, go for it. Uh, it's a fantastic kit, and I think you're really going to enjoy it um like i said real grades are, are can be tough yeah it's really pretty real grades can be tough but um this one was my favorite real grade i've built uh i think the gundam wing uh yeah the wing gundam was like a really rough one some of the real grades just aren't great the, the more modern ones i think are better as they've kind of figured out how they want to do those i think they've gotten better at it but yeah Okay. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, that's just a beautiful looking kit. I'm going to get rid of that now. We're done looking at that Sazabi. That Sazabi is rad as hell. So you should take, I would, I would say that if you're looking for a kit, uh, you can do all worse. Uh, the one I have in the closet is a master grade. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the real grade is such a beautiful, cause it's like, it's, you know, cause it's the, that the thing with the Sazabi is it's huge. So the real grade of it is still a very big, good size kit. Um, I, I can't tell you anything about the master grade because uh, I don't have any experience doing it. But I will tell you, the Sazabi fucking rules. So if you're going to build a Sazabi, like I say, go for it. Because um, it's a beautiful kit. Uh, but yeah, I have not built the master grade of that. So I cannot tell you about that. Um, but the real grade was really fun. And yeah, it was a little challenging, but that's part of the thing, right? If you hey, if you just want to be, build some easy stuff, build, buy some Build Fighters high grades, right? Those are really simple and easy, and I think turn out great. And some of them look really nice. the The last few years, they've really nailed the high grades for these shows. I mean, it's because they're uh, it, some of it is because they've gotten better. Some of it's because it's modifications of traditional kits you know the show is built on that idea so some of the time so they often know how to do the kits that they're like they really know what they're doing with those kits they turn out great uh so yeah i think that like but if you want to challenge those are kind of fun like bill snacks yeah right i've got a bunch of them i got that sets in thing that's got like a weird it's got asymmetrical arms and like i'm gonna i'm gonna build that at some point that thing just looks cool or like the god hand no it's not the god hand is it the god hand i can't remember if it's called that but that there's the hand there's just like some weird kits out there that just look so strange and i'm like i can't wait to build this thing all right so we gotta put this on here hmm this, this right yeah so this goes on aha uh -huh. all right we're gonna put this on like this Um, but yeah, no, the, the new high grades are just a treat to put together. So I always recommend those. You know, it used to be like the 100 high grades were where you started, but they don't really make 100 high grades right now. Uh, the Iron Blooded Orphan kits kind of a little bit fill that void, the non grades and the full mechanics. Uh, but there's those are still somewhat complicated. They can be. I mean, mostly the problem with, with full mechanics for people that are just starting out is you have to really build one to then understand how all of them work because of the demonic nature of their design. All of them are like hunched over because you're building that that hunched over skeleton, which is like part of the design and works, but like uh, for some people just feels very weird. I've had a few friends who have, who have talked to me about that those kits and just being like what's going on with the, the or orphan things like this this looks so weird put together i'm like don't worry once it's built you'll understand it's kind of got that um oh you know what thing i've never thought of it uh the iron blood orphans gundams uh the main gundam ones at least most of them have a bit of a feel to them like they are uh the uh units from evangelion uh, just that they have are a bit more humanoid and uh, than some other Gundams. I've never put that together, but I think that's yeah, yeah. I put this uh, piece on wrong, so now I'm putting it on right. Uh, yeah, they really do. Yeah, it's just it's mostly just because like they're named after demons in the Book of the Dead, and they're like that's part of the whole thing of the show. Is this like is their demonic element, but they're like, yeah, you build them, you build them like, instead of like this, you build them like this, like there's a curve. Um, 
And so, like, the first time I put one of those together, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. This is, like, a thing from the show. And it just took me a second to recognize that's what I was doing. All right, I'm going to finish this thing here. We're almost, we're going to finish up the leg here because I think there's not much more left of this leg, right? Yeah, all right. So we've got, uh, we've got a few more steps here. So we'll go to 11 and finish this up. Uh, and then I'm going to bounce. I'm not, as I said, I am not going to go and, uh, um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go raid tonight, but I do encourage y'all to go find a streamer you like, give them some support, uh, watch their stuff. Tell, tell them what you like about their stream. People like to know that stuff. They like to hear it. Uh, and if, if this is the end of your streaming uh, event for, for this uh, session, thank you for watching. Again, I'll be back on, you know, sorry, I'll be back on Monday with my next build stream on Monday. It will be the last build stream of the month, the last build stream in this space, possibly the last build stream until I moved to South Carolina. Although, I, as I said, I'm going to make every attempt to stream from uh, my Airbnb, but I won't know if I can do that until I get there. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, so that'll be on Monday and we will pick up where we left off here by finishing up, uh, we'll work on the other leg and then I think we're working on the waist. Uh, you know, we, we're just getting started here. We did get, we did do some good progress today, uh, and we'll get more done on Monday, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to continue to work on this project, uh, in the future. Be that uh, you know, on Monday we'll we'll get some more work done on this kit. Let me get L22 going here. Um, if you don't already follow me here, uh, please do uh, turn your notifications on so you know when I stream, uh, which is you know uh, the next one will be Monday 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, uh, Twitter.com/patbear is my Twitter. Uh, YouTube.com/patbear is the YouTube. I put archives of of every stream I do uh, up on YouTube. Uh, so you can watch that there. Um, follow me there. Subscribe on YouTube. It's free to subscribe. I don't have a membership or anything like that. I'm not that kind of streamer at the, um, or a YouTuber. Um, but uh, I do put videos up. Sometimes those videos are just archives of streams. Also the VODs exist for a while here on Twitch, if you just want to watch the VODs, you can just watch the VODs. Why isn't this going on? All right, well, I'm trying to wrap the stream up here and this uh, leg is giving me issues, these things here. This is how it should go on. I might just do this off camera because it is not doing what I want it to do. There it goes. There it is. Okay. So we'll try to match that on this side. Uh, and great. And then we just need D49. Lots of this piece here. 49. All right. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to wrap up there. Uh, Thanks, everybody, for watching the stream. I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to be uh, doing anything else. With uh, I'm not going to go raid, but I am going to wrap up the stream. Uh, I hope to see you in the future. Uh, if you subscribe today, thank you so much. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, it's a great way to support the streams. But uh, we also have it's like such a great high number of people right now that we're doing okay. Uh, but I'll see you on uh, on, uh, on Monday. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in the future. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.